sasa kitu ilifanya ni gundue amenikata alikata mpaka hii nyama ikarudi hivi damu bado dakika tano kasikia kitu inanichoma moto kauliza umenikata alinyamaza tena nikauliza umenikata mbona unanikata anambia leo lazima nikumalize sasa kujanza kusikia uchungu sasa unajua ukilala hapo vile pepo inakupiga inasikia uchungu kali sasa hizi zilianguka watoto ndio aliniambia ni umbwa ilikula hmm. umbwa ilikula mbona mimi mbona hii maisha mimi ndio sikuzaliwa na binadamu ama unaona watu wengine wanaishi tu kwa maisha mzuri lakini sasa mimi hata kuna wakati nilifikiria anga kupeana watoto mimi nibaki tu peke How are you? Welcome to today's episode of Tales of Wanjiko. Kama kawa, I'm here with director Edwin Ochieng. Leo ako a bit under the weather. Una feel as you bro? Ah, uh, hii baridi nalimaliza lakini eh, nikujisukuma. Unajisukuma? Yes. Haya. Uh, yeah. And of course, I'm here with Terry. Hi Terry. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Yeah, so we are about to go to Madare to feature a story of a single mama who was um, in a domestic violence uh, case and she has her face disfigured she has her fingers chopped and we want to go and understand because i understand uh, domestic violence cases some are gender based violence cases are on the rise uh, and sometimes people will ask mbona angetoka kwa nini tu alika hapo and it's not even a question i can answer sometimes people are afraid nikitoka watoto watakula nini but i always insist it's better utoke ukiwa alive kushinda utoke ukiwa ina in a coffin, Cindy. So, guys, we are here. I can spot our guest already. Muna Mona Kona Blue. jina naitwa Maureen Mendo. Mm. Niko na miaka 34. Mhm. Mm Nimezaliwa Seme in Kisumu County. Seme iko Kisumu. Iko Kisumu County. Uh -huh. Mimi ni mtoto wa kwanza katika familia ya watoto wanne. Maisha yetu haikuwa mazuri sana. Juu mamangu aliaga nikiwa na miaka tisa. Mm babangu akakuja kaga nikiwa na miaka 15. Mm -hmm. Sasa kutoka babangu aage mm -hmm. maisha ilikuwa magumu sana. Mm -hmm. Mimi ndio nilikuwa mtoto wa kwanza. And by that time nilikuwa na 15 years singeweza kulea watoto wengine. Mm -hmm. Sasa ilinibidi nitoke nyumbani mm -hmm. niende nitafute kazi ya nyumba. Na kwani Ancona auntie walikuwa wapi? Walikuwa lakini 
wakati wazazi walikuwa mm. atakuwa tunatembelea ma relatives sasa huko atakuwa tumezoea sana mm-hmm. tukienda huko wanatuambia saizi wazazi wamekufa ndio mnajua kutafuta relatives mm. nasema kuna haja nitembee kwa ma relative cha tuniende nitafute kazi mm. yaache watoto wetu nyumbani mm-hmm. Na nilisema siezi acha shule kabla nimalize KCP. Nilimaliza KCP. Mm. Result ikarudi vizuri. Lakini masomo sikupata mwenye naweza ni somesha. Ulikuwa na marks ngapi? Ilikuwa na 285. Okay. Uh, out mm. of 500. Oh good. Uh, mm-hmm. Niliacha shule hapo. Yeah. Kuacha shule nikaacha watoto wetu hapo. Kawaambia mkae tu hapa takuwa nikiwatumia pesa ya ku kutegemea. Mm. Kakuja Nairobi nikapata kazi. Kupata kazi nikafanya miezi miwili kazi ya nyumba. Eh. Mm. Nilikuwa nalipwa 1200 mm-hmm. kwa mwezi. Mm. Nilikuwa nawatumia. Miezi wa pili pia nikawatumia. Na miezi ya tatu nikapatana na Mr. Joseph. Mm nikampea story zangu zote. Akaniambia niachane na kazi ya nyumba, nikuje tuishi. Mhm. Ulikuwa na miaka ngapi saa hiyo? Hiyo tu mwaka nilikuwa na eh, na yeye. Yeye alikuwa na 22. Okay. Akaniambia hata tukishaoishi, tutaleta watoto wenu tukuje tuishi na wao. Mm. Nilifurahia juu. Penye niliwaacha, haikuwa inanifurahisha sana. Mm sasa watoto wako peke yao kwa boma ni wadogo wanaangaika kasema basi acha tutuishi tusaidie mm. watoto wetu juu nilikuwa nawapenda sana mm-hmm. nikaenda kwa Joseph tukaka bahati mbaya sijio mwezi nilienda ndio alinipachua mimba siezi nikajua mm. akaniambia Morin misai sitaki mtoto nikamuuliza kuwa nini asiyo ready kuitwa baba hmm. kambia, eh sasa tufanye aje juu mimi sina mbele wala nyuma na nishakuambia story yangu kaniambia nileta watoto tuishi na wao kaniambia acha nikutolee yo mtoto kasema hapana kutoa hapana na sikianga kutoa naleta anga shida hmm. kaniambia basi kama utaki kutoa rudi nyumbani kamuza nitarudi nyumbani aje na wazazi ya wako alinifukuza yenyewe unitoa tu life sio kuniambia tu toka uende mm. alikuwa ananitoa na nitoa nje mm-hmm. nikakatalia kwake basi tukakaa hivyo na mavutano kitu kidogo anakuja na nichapa hadi ananiambia watu wanamwambia atashikwa juu ame, ameoa mtoto mdogo mm. Sasa alikuwa ananifungia kwa nyumba. Akienda kazini. Paka vile atarudi ndiye anafungua usiku. Ilishi ya maisha alikuwa anakuachia chakula. E, chakula alikuwa ananiachia but sio ile ni chai. Mm. Jua alikuwa anasema ni mtu wa jua kali. Mm. Pia mimi nilikuwa naelewa. Mm-hmm. Sasa siku moja nikaumiza si ulisema utasaidia watoto. Kitu alinijibu aliniambia yeye akuzaa watoto. Sasa nilisema acha tu nikae. Juta era shampoo mzigo. Nyumbani hakuna watu, hakuna penye naweza enda. Mm. Nikakaa, nikajifungua. Sasa niliacha tu hao watoto nikasema acha wakae tu na Mungu wao. Juu sina la kufanya. Mm-hmm. Nikabarikiwa na mtoto kijana. Bado anaendelea tu na ile kichapo. Sasa nilisema labda nile story yangu ni yenye nilikuwa nampea ndio alichukua advantage mm, ya kunitesa. Mm. Kini nilisema iwe mbaya iwe aje sitatoka hapa. Nitavumilia tu. Mm. After eight months tena nikapata mba ingine ya mtoto wa pili. Mm-hmm. After eight months. Eh, ah. Sasa vile nilipata mimba akasema sasa uko karibu kuzaa 
na obvious tunazanga na operation mm. enda kwenye pia watu wa kwenye wa wajaribu juu mimi hiyo gharama sitawezana nayo mm. nilikata nilikata kuenda sasa dakika ya mwisho niliona kama ataniumiza na hii mimba juu bado alikuwa ananichapa tu na nilalisha kama mtoto wa shule sasa yeye ako katoto pengine kako wapi ako hmm. tali alikuwa mgonjwa sana hmm. juu wa kunyonya ya kutosha mhm niko na yeye hmm. kasema basi nipe fare niende kwenye nikae huko nikaenda kuenda nikajifungua kusikia nimejifungua normal akakuja kukuja tukakaka akarudi Nairobi akaniacha home mm. nikaenda kwetu kwenda kwetu nikapata watoto wako boma imebaki hivyo sasa nikaanza kuwatafuta kwa marelatives nilipata mdogo akokuwa anti yangu mwenye ananifuata aka hapa Nairobi mm. lakini aliingia kwa street chill chill mm. Sasa hata kuna askari mwingine alimwambia rudi nyumbani. Jo, hiyo group ameingilia sio group nzuri. Mm. Nikamwita nikaongea na yeye. Kaambia at least atafute hata kitu yenye naye Alikuwa mdogo sana. Kini nimwambia atafute hata mtu amfanyie hata kazi. Hata kazi tu kidogo kidogo bora tu apate pesa yake. Huyo wa pili mwenye ananifuata wa pili nilipata sasa ameenda kwa anko yangu. Nikarudi Nairobi. Kurudi Nairobi tena nikakaa. Kakaa miaka kama miwili. Kapata mtoto watatu. Sasa hapo alikuwa afadhali. Afadhali tu kidogo lakini sio sana. Mm, but afadhali. But afadhali. Sasa nilikuwa naomba tu Mungu, aki Mungu tuishi tu hivi. Siwe ni kunichapa. Hata saa zingine nilikuwa nanichapa na niweka chini na ananiuliza Maureen tena kuchapanga na kurumia mbona na kufanyia hivi lakini sijui ni nini nanifanyanga Mwambia mimi hata unichape sitatoka hapa njua sasa nishazika wote sasa hata kuna wenye wanatutaka hmm. tena after two years tena tukapata mtoto wa ine. Okay, uko nyuma ule mtoto wa kwanza walichomeka na mtoto wa pili eh, eh kwa Wanika? nyumba walichomeka eh mtoto wa kwanza na wa pili eh wakakufa mkubwa ndiye alikufa eh kiwa na miaka hii nyumba ilifanya ilichomeka na chai kai ikapata moto kabisa polo sasa ah ah bebe ni ngoja uko na handkerchief kuna kitamba wa sabiet kuna tishu sadera hiyo ngo hiyo ikuchu hi hapa ni kubwa hakuna kadogo chatu mhm mm sasa venye alichomeka alichomeka nikiwa na wao chai nilikuwa napika akatoka kwa kitanda akaruka kwa chai huyo mkubwa ndiye alitangulia akashika huyo mwingine venye alisikia hiyo moto sasa mimi nafikiria lakini sikuwa karibu kwa napanguza nyumba kati hiyo nilikuwa na nyumba ya huyu ba mtoto wa tatu tukampeleka Kenyatta i think alikufa usiku jukwe kutoka kwenda kesho yake tukaambiwa alikufa usiku saa saba. sasa tulipata huyo wa pili yake wa ICU ule amekufa pia mimi hali yangu haikuwa mzuri juu nilikuwa nishaanza kusikia dalili ya pain mm. neba mm. daktari akaniambia nisirudi huko tena nikae tu nyumbani wakampeleka mochari kufika usiku nikaanza kusikia tu pain tu ile tu kabisa nikapeleka hospitali nikajifungua huyo sasa ule alikuwa mochari huyo mwingine akawa ICU 
pia mimi nimejifungua tukafanya hii tukazika mtoto langata juu atakuwa na uwezo wa kumpeleka nyumbani mm. kurudi babao kaanza kunitisha mtoto anataka mtoto wake juu mtoto alichomeka nikiwa hapo nilimwambia nilimwomba msamaha nikamwambia nilikuwa bahati mbaya tu mtoto kuchomeka haikuwa kupenda kwangu nikamwita watu wa kanisa kaongea na yeye kaacha hiyo maneno tukakaa tena ndio nikapata wa, wa mwisho kupata wa mwisho akaanza tena kelele hmm. kaambia i kelele stafumilia acha niende nyumbani nikae na wewe ubaki Nairobi kaniambia ni sawa acha niende nikujenge ukae kwako hmm. jumada mtaelewana na yeye anajua mama yake ni mtu wa kelele tukaenda nyumbani hmm. nikakaa akanifuata kunifuata akasema sasa ya rudi Nairobi hmm. tunakaa nyumbani tulika akaanza tena vita saizo tuko na 15 years in marriage nikasema hapana ie sitawezana nayo juu venye tulikuwa tunaishi hapa Nairobi mimi panga nilikuwa nalalanga nayo chini ya mattress panga hata hiyo panga tumeenda nayo mpaka nyumbani sasa nilikuwa nafikiria labda ni ya security sasa siku moja aliniuliza Morin wewe unalalanga ambia eh wewe unalangi wewe unakufa lalangi usiku unakufanga na kukuua ni rahisi ati kukuua ni rahisi jua nyewe nikiingia kwa usingizi na endanga kabisa. Mm. Sasa nilikuwa nafikiria labda naongea kwa juu alikuwa mlevi. Mm. Nikaichukua tu hisi. Nasema eh hey, ni kulala, yenyewe nikiingia kulala si lala, si, yani sisikiangi kama hata sisikiangi kitu ina, inafanyika, unalala tu. Nalala. Sasa siku moja niliamka, nilikuwa nalala. Nikaamka, nikapata meka. Niliza ni nini mbaya? kasema hakuna ananiangalia tu akaniambia rudi ulale nikalala tu juu usiku anajua anaweza anfanyia kitu chochote bas akaanza vita akasema mimi nataka kwenda kwetu akaniambia enda na usibebe mtoto wangu nikaenda kuenda nikaenda Kisumu nikatafuta kazi ya nyumba niliacha watoto wote nyumbani kutafuta kazi ya nyumba nikasikia amegundua shagundua niko Kisumu nilifanya miezi 4 nikarudi Nairobi nikamwambia niko Nairobi na nafanya kazi ya nyumba jua alikuwa naulizia ulizia mali niko nikamwambia niko Nairobi nafanya kazi ya nyumba mm-hmm. sasa nitakuwa nikikutumia pesa utapokea akasema endapokea tu sasa nilikuwa namtumia juu nilijua kuna na watoto wa, mm. wangu mm. sasa kila mwezi nilikuwa namtumia pesa sasa siku moja alinipigia simu saa kumi asubuhi akaniambia Morin ukisikia kitu yoyote nimefanyikia watoto usinilaumu kuja uchukue watoto wako Ka, kauliza nini unataka kufanyia watoto siku moja nitawakata kata into pieces na usilie kuja hata kesho uchukue watoto wako uende nao mimi nishaoa nitakuanza maisha mapya na mke mwingine atio shaoa eh alioa nilienda vinye nilinyambia niliomba pesa kwa mdozi wangu akaniambia nilimuelezea kila kitu yenyewe alinipea fea ya kwenda na kurudi akaniambia before uende upige report kwa polisi huko kwenu ju mtu aizi aizi sema kitu haiko kwa roho hiyo kitu amesema ni kitu amepanga sasa mm. usiende hata peke yako sasa nilimwambia na kuja alifurahia nikasema ah labda ame, 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 amekuwa vizuri juu ile asira alikuwa nayo sasa ana nilienda peke yangu si kwenda na mtu alifurahi sana kaniambia niwe ndio nilikuwa nakutaka siwezi uwa watoto wetu 
ni wewe ndio nataka na kutaka tuishi vile tulikuwa tunaishi na hata ukiniambia tunaenda kuishi naenda kutoa ule mama rudi kwao tuishi vile tulikuwa tukaenda nyumbani huo uliposikia ameoa bibi mwingine ule yeah. filaje ama iko kusumbua haiko nisumbua kwa nini ah ah ile matendo alikuwa ananifanyia hata nilisema ni, ni, nilishukuru tu Mungu afadhali akae na huyo haiko niumiza hata yali niuliza mbona nimekwambia ume nimeoa na hujashtuka kaambia kuna hakuna ubaya si umeoa mwenye amenilindia watoto kasema hapana labda uko na mpango yako tukaenda nyumbani kalala siku moja kamwambia mimi sasa kesho nataka nijitayarishe niende ulipata bibi mwingine huko eh nilimpata so mlilala pamoja oh eh yeah, alilala kwa rumi nyingine mm. mimi nikalala kwa rumi yangu hata okay. huyo bibi alileta shida mm. alisema nisilale kwa hiyo nyumba hata huyo baba kampiga kaambia huyu ni bibi yangu nataka aende wapi na hii ni nyumba yake we ndio uende alipigwa hiyo usiku kaambia asimu asimpige sasa nikalala siku moja kaambia sasa kesho nataka niende kaniambia sawa ujitarishe tu urudi juu hata we mama alikuwa ananisumbua na simu nataka nirudi kazini fika wa jioni kanipea pesa chukua hii pesa nenda sokoni nunue chakula kuja unipikie juu najua hauta hauta nipikia tena sasa nilikuwa nafikiria anaona nikienda Nairobi sitarudi kumbe hiyo maneno ilikuwa na nia yake kaambia mimi nitarudi nikienda nitarudi venye tumeelewana hmm. kaambia na sasa watoto kasema watoto wake watoki niende tu nikapika sasa vile nilikuwa napika kwa jikoni mtoto wangu mkubwa alikuwa namwacha ananisongezea kuni na sisi tumekaa na yeye hapo nje tunapiga story kumbe venye tulikuwa tunapiga story hapa anatuma message kwetu baradangu mdogo ati leo katikati yangu mimi na Morin lazima mmoja akufe na mmoja ende kwa jela kadangu akanipigia simu jua alinikataza nisiende huko kaniuliza Morin uko wapi kaambia niko kwa gari naenda Nairobi sema ukweli uko wapi kasema sema kwambia naenda Nairobi sasa venye alikuwa ananisumbua ikabidi nifunge simu nikafunga aliniambia suambie tu watu wenyu mali huko juu kitu inaweza kufanyikia na kukutafuta inaweza kuwa vigumu hmm. kasema hakuna kuna mimi niko na Mungu hakuna kenye inaweza nifanyikia kwa nini huko unataka watu wa kwenye wajue kwenye huko hawakuwa namtaka na ningesema niko huko ningeleta shida hmm. Hmm. sasa akacheka kasema ni sawa tu sasa kuamka kwenda kutoa chakula niweke maji ya ugali nikaweka nikarudi nikamwambia sana ona imefika juu nilikuwa nimeshaoga nimefunga virago zangu nikamwambia acha niende kwa madhi nimpigie gwaeri ndio nikuje niende kasema ni sawa bado nimemwacha tu hapo kwa varanda nikaamka nikaanza mwendo kumbe aliamka na sikusikia movement yoyote kwa natembea tu pole pole kufika kwa giza kasikia sauti nyuma yangu unaenda wapi kwambie naenda kwa madhe tena kaniuliza mara ya pili unaenda wapi naenda kwa madhe kitu nilishtukia nishtukia kitu ikiniwasha inside nikajikuna jikuna tu hivi jikuna damu haikutoka sasa hizo tena karudi upande mwingine nikasikia tena sasa kitu ilifanya nigundue amenikata 
alikata mpaka hii nyama ikarudi. Hivi, damu bado. Dakika tano, kasikia kitu inanichoma moto. Nikauliza umenikata. Alinyamaza. Tena nikauliza umenikata. Mbona unanikata? Kaniambia leo lazima nikumalize. Mbona unataka kunimaliza? Nimeongea na wewe na usiki. Me, tumeongea na usiki ni nini unarudi kufanya na hilo? Kaniambia basi tuende tuonge. Kasema hapana. Nimefika mwisho sasa. Ya tuweze. Sasa damu inakutoka tena. Inanitoka upigi nduru. Ah ah. Hata gari kikukanyaga. Hmm. Hauwezi piga. Unaweza piga nduru tu kwa kitu kidogo ufanye yo. Lakini kitu ikipiga tu vizuri. Hata machu, hata machozi hakuna. Hata mshtuko. Mm, hata uchungu hauna. Sikuwa nasikia uchungu. Damu ndiyo nasikia na meza na mdomo. Hapo ndiyo niligundua kuna pai pingina inaingianga hapa kwa mbu. Sasa nikuwa na meza. Nikachoka, nikaanguka. Sasa nilianguka, nimelalia hii mkono. Na ina mbembeleza nayo. Nini kamuita mungu. Nilita binadamu mungu. Junia ndiyo nilikuwa na muona. Na mungu enyewa nasaidia watu. Na uwezi muona, but anasaidia watu. Nimuita mungu wangu, nisame. Nalikata. Nalichapa hizi zikaanguka. Sasa ilifika wakati ata kuongea. Nasikia. Kini kuongea suwezi yongea. Mdomo imekua mzito kabisa. Sasa. Kaza kuchapa kwa kichwa. Kasema. Eh. Hey, Unakufa haki. Halinipiga. Halinipiga. Kitu ikanikujia. Nisipumwe. Dakatano. Hiyo kitu ilinisaidia. Alikuja, akaguza kwa kwa roo, akapata siku mwe. Akaniacha, alijua, ameniua. Sasa nikasikia, ule mwana mke mgini akiita jirani. Kumbe alikuwa na mwana kwa drisha. Baba Beryl, kuja usaidia morino kata na muwa. Ana muwa aje na nimepita hapa wakipiga story. Ati hata sijui ni nini meleta shida. Na ni yeye, ndiyo alileta panga na tochi. Hii kitu walikuwa mepanga. Badai ndiyo watoto wakakuja wakaniambia. Mamu, ulipangiwa utauwawa. Kitambo hata before ukuji. Kauliza mbona muku niambia. Tuli... Nani alileta tochi? Uyo mwana 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 Sasa kitumbe walikuwa nasema watoto wakisikia. Hmm. Tuliambiwa, tukikuambia, pia sisi tutakatwa. So sayu kwa hapo chini. Niko chini. Jirani akakuja, akakonfa. Alimkimbiza na hiyo panga. Alipata kama bado niko hapo. Pia ye alikuwa tu hapo. Sasa kusikia tu hiyo sauti ni katingiza imgu. Hivi. Yani ili nitafute tu usaidizi. Zikujua kama bado hako hapo. Ndiya kachapa kuna panga ingine hapa nyuma kubwa. Kaniambia, akasema, nikuwa nafikiria umekufa, umebadu huu. Kwa hai hapa, kanyamaza, ujirani ya kakucha. Anisikia likuja na mkuki, kamurusha na ayo. Haka pita fence. Haka enda, ndia kanza kuita watu. Kwa jirani ya kanza kuita watu, eh, wakuja wa kusaidia. Wakuja wa kusaidia. Hmm. Saizo ya e mekibia. Hmm. Na huyo bibi mwingine ya kwa api? Ako kwa nyumba. Sasa before, huyo jirani ya kuje, hmm. mtoto mdogo, huyo last born. Hmm. At that time, alikuwa na six years. Alitoka, akaenda kuita mother-in-law. Mother-in-law haka mfukuza. Akaenda kwa father-in-law. Father-in-law haka mbia, enda tu na kuja. Haku kuja saizo. Yo jirani ndi alikuja immediately. Sasa. Sasa kusha nza kusikia uchungu. Sasa unajua ukilala po vile pepo inakupiga. Inasikia uchungu. Sasa hizi zilianguka. Watoto ndi waliniambia ni umbwa ilikula. 
kubwa ilikula. Mm-hmm. Sasa aliruka. Akaenda kuripot. Sasa hizo nasikia tu ufunuo alienda kuripot alienda hadi kisi police station. Aka report. Akarudishwa Othoro. Yeye alienda akasema ameua mke wake. Akarudishwa Othoro. Mimi naye nikapelekwa Nyabondo. Nyabondo wakasema awawezi walifanya tu first aid. Sasa hiyo first aid kuna shindano nyingine walinidunga. Ndio nilisikia at least mdomo inaweza kuwa nyepesi naweza ongea. Wakaniuliza ni nini ulimfanya? Kambia hata mimi siwezi eleza. Watu wakakuuliza ni nini ulimfanya? Eh nini nilimfanyia ndio akanikata kata hii. Guys, when will we ever stop asking someone this question? Mhm. Kasema mimi siwezi jua ju tumeonga mpaka dakika ya mwisho. Kitu ilikuwa inaleta shida ni kumwacha nirudi kazini ndio ileleta shida. Ati haiwezi leta shida kuna kitu. Kaona wananisumbua nikanyamaza. Au ni madaktari wanakuuliza hivyo. Mm. So lazima uko umefanyia mtu kitu ndio akuchape hivi. Sasa sijui. Sasa akanipeleka Russia. Kisumu. Mm. Ndio nilikaa huko. Kufika huko tena nikapoteza ufahamu. Sasa wenye walinipeleka ni watu wa kwao. Walinipeleka tu huko wakaniacha wakarudi nyumbani hmm. kuangalia watoto. Hmm. Wakarudi ndio kesho yake wakarudi na maaskari wa Othoro wakakuja kuconfirm kama yenyewe alinikata ukweli. Akafungiwa huko. Sasa nikakaa kwa ward kamaliza 14 days wakapiga simu na itajika. Nikasema sasa siwezi tembea kuona bado sijaanza kuona. Sasa siwezi kuenda huko. Mm. Kuna askari mwingine aliniambia tumekuongeza siku mbili. Ukikosa kukuja tunamwachilia. Juu inafaa umalize 14 days kama complainant atajafika mm. mshukiwa naachilia. Mm. Sasa kulingana na ile uchungu nilikuwa nayo, niliwaambia kama mnaweza mwachilia, mwachilie tu juu. Tayari ashanikata. Mwachilie tu aende. Haya nikakaa mwezi nikapewa discharge. Nikaenda Othoro. Kwenda Othoro wakatuambia tarehe yetu tunaenda kotini, Oyugis. Hmm. Kwenda Oyugis. Wakatuambia ni ni mention sijizo vitu za kwanza mm. nilisikia tu mention mm. tukaidiwa tena turu mm. turudi mm. kurudi sasa watu wa NTV nation walikuja kwetu mm. wakanioje mm. kumbe Joseph aliona mm. akarudi nyumbani mm. akakunywa sumu ati anaenda kufungwa leo wakati alikuwa ananitumia message nisimfunge anaenda kunitibu nikimfunga atafungwa miaka 20 ni msamee tu tumeza naye watoto tumeishi naye hiyo simu yangu hata ilikuwa imepotea mm. sasa kakunywa sumu hiyo tarehe niliambiwa nirudi nikarudi mm. kurudi nikaambiwa Joseph ako hospitali nitapigiwa simu tarehe yetu tutarudi ene walinipigia simu. Mm. Kurudi. Alibeba mkono juu akasema nataka cash bill ya 50,000. Alipewa. Hii ilikuwa mwaka gani? 2018. Mm. Sasa alikuwa anaenda anakuja kotini akiwa nje. Alikuja tu siku moja. Mara ya pili nikaambiwa niende na ID na kulingana na venye kwetu ni mbali na Oyugis watu sasa familia yangu walichoka kasema hiyo ni fea yote wameomba kesi rudishwe Kisumu wamekata sasa waliniambia nikuje tu peke yangu na nikuje mapema juu faili yangu ndio ilikuwa juu saa mbili nipate kotini mm. nyewe niliamka saa tisa usiku peke yangu 
by saa moja na nusu nilipata uyugis. Mm. Kufika kotini. Simama pale wakanipea Bible. Nikabeba. Nilikuwa nataka kubeba na hii mkono lakini waliambia ubeba na hiyo mkono mwingine. Nikabeba. Wakani kwa nini ulikuwa unataka kubeba na hii? Sijui. Mm. Si, sijui Bible inabebwa na mkono gani. Oh. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kitu naweza sikia walikuwa naniambia kitu ambacho nitasema hapa iwe ni ya ukweli. Sasa so, wanasema narudia, mm. wanasema narudia. Mm. Dakika ya mwisho akambia Joseph uko free na uchukue mke wako uende utibu. Muende yako free. Eh, How free? Muende nyumbani. Tengeneze kwa familia. Nani alisema hivyo haswa? Huyo mwenye ako juu. Sidi ndiyo judge. Mwenye ako pale juu. Eh. So hapa kuna hii pati ya kuchukua Bible. Lafu ule ya meka pale juu. Walikuwa. Kuna mwenye alikuwa mesimama na mimi hapa. Eh. Na ule judge ya kujuu. Yes. Sasa huyu. Ndi ya kasema. Eh. Ati buwana ako ako free. Ako free. Eh. Munaezaenda nyumbani. Mm. Umtibu. Ni maswali gani yeye aliulizi wa kotini? Ata. Akuongea? Ata. So wewe nyo ulisema ulichukua ukasema utasema ukweli uliwambia kila kitu ilifanyika walichua hata yeah. nisikuwa na specs mm. kati nilikuwa nimefura bado so wangekuona walikuwa wanaona chenye amekufanyia eh hata nywele nilinyoa na wembe ilikuwa mm. inaonekana di alama za huko so wakamwambia chukua bibi yako enda umtibu ende umtibu kutoka hiyo siku yenyewe mnaona venye niko eh hajawahi ye alitoka hapo akaenda kaoa Venye <laughs> ibu ni kulize Morin venye mlitoka hapo kotini mm. nje alikuongelesha Aa venye ameambua ameachiliwa Aa Walikuwa na familia yao hivi hapo kotini eh uh-huh. mimi nikiwa peke yao Kai guys what am i not getting so koti imemwachilia mwachilia hey, mfungi hata siku moja hakuaifungwa na ulimsikia hapo kotini akiongea akikuomba msamaha ama akifanya chochote hakuna hii kotini wapi oyugis oyugis wapi kot eh oyugis kot eh zimepangana moja yetu ilikuwa katikati mm. la lafu ya mwisho so ni oyugis eh. okay hakuna kitu alisema so mkatoka sasa tukatoka ile family yake ikamchukua walisanyana chini ya mti mwingine hapo wakaongea mimi naye nikamaliza huyo askari mwenye alishika kesi yetu aliniambia Morin wewe sasa Joseph aende akutibu ashaachiliwe mimi nikapanda gari nikaenda kwetu kufika nyumbani sikuambia watu wa kwetu ameachiliwa nilinyamaza tu na hiyo maneno jua hata mimi mwenyewe ilinishtua kufika nyumbani akaanza kurusha maneno jua alikuwa na namba yangu ti wanao wake wajinga ndio wanafanywa anga hiyo hizo vitu nilikufanyia anaenda kuoa saa hii yenyewe alioa kunitibu hata panadol ya shilingi kumi. akuwa ininunulia na watoto sasa hiyo nani yako nao si ni mimi kwenye mimi. sasa eh nilikuwa kwetu sasa nikaona maisha ya kwetu pia ilikuwa magumu kusema acha nikuje tu kwa Nairobi at least naweza pata kazi zi kidogo kidogo nikapata kazi ya kufagia shuleni juu mkono hata ikishika kitu inaanguka mm. na hiyo zai na nguvu mm. sasa na sana nafanyanga na hii right naweza fagia mm. nyumba kulipa ni shida school fees tabu watoto chakula hata manguo hakuna mm. sasa enyewe sasa na jiulizanga maswali na sipati majibu mm. unajiulizanga nini mbona mimi mbona hii maisha mimi ndio sikuzaliwa na binadamu ama 
juu naona watu wengine wanaishi tu kwa maisha mazuri lakini sasa mimi hata kuna wakati nilifikiria anga kupeana watoto mimi nibaki tu peke niliuliza mtu waniambie children's home peleke watoto Joe enye maisha pale. Hii nyumba mnalipa pesa ngapi? 2000. Nani analipa? Hii nyumba nilikuwa nalipa kitambo penye corona haikuwa imeingia. Nilikuwa na pika chips hapo chini. Kuna mm. mwenye alikuwa ananisaidia. Mm. Lakini wenye corona hili ya kutoka hiyo wakati sija ilipa. Hata nimeongana huyo mama aliambia nimtafutia tanusu. Nambia sahi kwa sahi hakuna. Mm. Mm. Na ukisikia huyu bwana wako wako wapi sasa? Anaonekana anga wapi? Hapa tu area, madhare tu hapa. Ako around? Eh, anaonekana anga. Na huyo bibi wake mwingine? wanaishi na huko madhare aishi hapa eh aishi eh penye anaishi aswa sijui mm. kina sikianga tu wananiambia tu tuliona mbona yako tulimuona una feeling safe ah ah siko safe mm. watoto wanakuulizanga nini <sighs> watoto unajua ni tofauti mm. unaweza zaa kuna mwenye anakupenda kuna mwenye akupendi mm. sasa mkuu mdogo ananiulizanga mama <laughs> si utafute tu baba mwingine akitoka kazi ananiletea yogurt ah. na nanga watu wengine wanaleta wanga yogurt na mimi hata si baba yangu ataniletea sasa Simjibingi ju mimi sina soma nini ya kumjibu. Anaambia mm. sawa nitatafuta. Na mama hii jicho yako ilienda wapi? Kwani walizika? Sasa kuna maswali zingine akiendelea kuniuliza anambia buchukua ipaso ndo mbaye kitu kwa duka ili asahau. Lakini mkubwa siwezi mkataa juu ni mtoto wangu. Lakini namuona ako na, na baba yake ofet kwa kichwa nikimsomea unaona anafunga virago ananiambia nataka kwenda kwa baba yake siku moja ataenda kwa baba yake atatafuta mali baba yake yako ataenda sasa ta, siko safe na huyo mtoto mkubwa juu anaweza nisaliti sasa nataka tu wenye anaweza ongea na yeye wamweleze juu ali, ali waliona kitu ilimtendekea ili katikati ya baba yake anasema yeye hata iwe nini anapenda baba yake anakwambia hivyo mm. lakini mtoto namuelewa tu labda pado ija ija aja kubali si ni kweli una nini nakupeanga nguvu eh hmm? nini nakupea nguvu ya maisha naomba na tu Mungu siku moja maisha yangu itakuja kuchange na maisha yangu imechange penye nimetoka ndio mbali mm-hmm. kuna wenye wanafanywa kitu nilifanyiwa na wanaaga wanaacha watoto lakini mimi bado natembea huu naona ulikosea wapi <laughs> mimi mm-hmm. sioni mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. kila mtu wenyewe anakuanga na makosa mm-hmm. Lakini kitu nilikosa aliniambia nisikuje Nairobi lakini nilikata nilikata I wish ningejua ningemdanganya sikuji na nihepe juu hiyo maisha nilishachoka nayo kabisa nilifika mwisho mm. nilifika mwisho na hiyo maisha mm. Mm. sikuwa nafurahia hiyo maisha mm. Mm sasa yuko nafanya kazi. Sasa ilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa shule lakini watoto wamefunga. Hmm. 
Musaini kutu. Unalipangwa pesa ngapi? Elfu tatu. O, elfu tatu. Mm. Kwa mwezi? Eh. Na nyumba ni elfu mbili? Elfu mbili. Mm. Na watoto wanasomesho wana nani? Watoto? Mm. Nilienda kwa shule. Mm. Nikaelezea walimu. Sasa waliniambia nikipata kidogo kidogo na wapelekea. Nipata mm. kidogo kidogo na wapelekea. Mm. Sasa nipata elfu moja mm. na wapelekea 500 mm. na wapelekea lakini deni bado iko huko. Huo mwanaume penye yako ungetaka ajue nini? Nataka tu haki. Mhm. Tendeke. Juu watu wengi wananiona hapa Mandhari na wanasikia huyo mtu bado wako nje sasa wanaweza fanya mtu chochote waseme kama ule ndiye ali, alitoa jicho ya morini. akatoa vidole ako nje sita mimi naweza fanya tu naweza huwa tu na si, 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 naachiliwa tu ningetaka ajue hata mimi niko na haki good yeah hata mimi kuna wenye wananijali. Mm. Mm. Pepa zako za koti bado uko nazo? Nibaki tu na pepa moja. Mm. Yeah. Gani hiyo? Le, ile sio ya koti. Mm. Zo pepa si nilipewa wakati huo nilikuwa mgonjwa. Mm. 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 So kuna kitu hata ulipewa. Kitu nilipewa nilenye nilienda nayo DNA. Mm. Eh, DNA. Eh. Kwa nini? Ku confirm sio panga ilichukuliwa. Mm. Sasa walienda confirm kama ile ndio mm. ilitumika. Eh, mm. mm. ni madamu. Mm. Hiyo pepa ndio nilibaki nayo. Mm. Wale watu wenye wako kwa ndoa wanafanywa hizi vitu lakini mtu bado atoki ungetaka kuambia aje. Ungetaka kuambia. Sana sana unajua mwanaume anasema anga kitu ashapanga nitakuua jamani hata kwa hiyo nyumba usilale hata awe mlevi juu mlevi si ati mtu anasemanga tijuni mlevi hapana hmm. nitakuua na silaha yoyote ufiche au siendele na hiyo ndoa songa enda maisha mtu anapata maisha mara ngapi moto mara moja na mwili aina spare part ningekuwa na spare part ningerudishiwa vidole ningerudishiwa jicho ningekuwa venye nilikuwa hata saa hii siezi ka kwa umati wa watu naibika chukingia pale watu wanakuangalia sana jiuliza tu eh hey, Mbona mimi wananiangalia hiyo? Naona mwingine anakuangalia. Hadi kuna wengine na waulizanga, ni nini mama? Ati ulipata accident, nasema ya nilipata accident. Mm, mm. Pole. Mm. Tasa hata kutembea. Mimi nashindanga tu hapa ndani. Mm. Kabla hizi vitu zote zitendeke, mm. kabla hata Morina patane na huyo mbaba ulikuwa unataka kuwa nani? Nilikuwa nataka kuwa daktari ata sasa inapenda madaktari sana. Mm. Daktari alinitoa mbali. Napenda daktari kabisa, mm. kabisa. Mm. Mm. Walikutoa mbali. Ah, walinitoa mbali. Mhm. Mhm. Kabisa. Mm. Sasa ata bado nasema bado naendelea kusema. Wanaume wasipige wa, wanawake. Juu mimi nilikuwa napigwa na nyamaza sikujua wanawake pia wako na haki yao. Sasa hizi ndio unajua. Sasa hii ndio unajua. Sasa hii ndio unajua. Haki itatendeka. Haki itatendeka. Ni sawa. Haki yako itatendeka. Si wanasemanya wanasemanga mnyonge ana haki Amen. lakini haki yako utapa, utapata. Utapata. Ni sawa. Kuna namba yako ya simu? Eh niko na namba ya watu. Sawa. Hmm. 07 45 74 32 95 majina italeta nani Morino Molo Morin Omolo si ndio yeah. Morin yes. bado you matter bado we ni muhimu Amen. unaona bado we ni muhimu na bado maisha yako inaweza kuwa chochote chenye unata 
najua sasa hiyo unajiangalia unaona jicho imeenda vidole zimeenda kichwa nini lakini jua tu hata no matter what we ni muhimu na unape na unapendwa na kila kitu itakuwa sa? sawa kila kitu itakuwa sawa ni sawa mm-hmm. na utashtukia kuona kuna watu wenye hata wakujui ndio watakuja kukusaidi Nisaidi. kukusaidia na hakuna chochote ulikosea isi fonti yako usiwahi ka useme i wish singesema isi fonti yako yeye ndiye aliamua kufanya hivi na hiyo that's on him that's not on you ni sawa hiyo hiyo si hiyo si wewe hiyo ni yake yes ndio aliamua kufanya huu nyama eh. haki yako tutapa Tapata. tutapata si ndio and this is what i want you guys to do my people umesema koti inaitwa yugis i will dedicate all my time and resources to make sure you get justice kwa sababu no matter what she said nothing justifies mtu kukatwa mkono mtu kukatwa uso mpaka anapoteza jicho mtu kukatwa kichwa nothing justifies so me i want to know this court in you or you guys kwenye uliambia mama asimame alafu ukasema aje ati chukuliwa chukua bibi yako enda umtibu me i don't know which kind of injustice that is akisita wadanganya i'm in pain right now i am nasikia vibaya sijui ni koti gani hiyo kwa sababu us what we want to see right now it's justice we want to see this case reopened we want to see e case to mimi nitaenda huko nataka nitachukua details zote police uliandikisha ripoti si ni sawa yes. koti na kama uko na document zingine please tusaidie nazo kwa sababu i know we have thousands of lawyers who watch this show and they are able to even offer their services pro bono so hata kama morin life yake macho haitarudi can we just make sure mwenye alimfanyia hii kitu at least ame holdiwa accountable and this goes to every person even if i was sitting with a man right now na alifanywa hivi na bibi yake i would still ask justice ifanyike kwake mi sijui hiyo ni koti gani i understand she might be a bit naive what society terms as naive but i believe with people who are holding her hand we are going to find justice cuz i don't understand wao mtu anatembea tembea aje hapa na ako free he moved on but look at her She doesn't even have a connection with her own daughter. So which means hata kama tuko na therapist pia wana watch issue and they are able to even speak to her daughter. I don't want to blame. I know where she's coming from. She's still a kid. She's still trying to weigh the options who is the better parent here nini nini to si blame mtoto. But if we have a therapist mwenye anaweza kaa pia na huyo msichana chini, amuonyeshe this is her mom it will be incredible na pia kama we have a therapist mwenye anaweza ona Maureen akae na yeye kando ampatie easy sessions me i know man we have an entire show an entire community of people who offer their services pro bono na even if you are able to get it ukipata tu kashamba ujengewe nyumba yako inaweza kuwa poa penye utakaa na watoto wako au watoto wengine wenyu wako wapi hawako wako wale wakubwa wale uliacha wako hapo ni wakubwa saa hii eh. lakini hawaishi hapa karibu mm. mm. wanafanya nini mwingine anaendesha pikipiki okay mwingine anaweka tiles kwa nyumba kwa nyumba eh mwingine okay. ako nyumbani so at least wamejisimamia kidogo eh. si ndio but if we can get her even a place where ye mwenyewe anaweza enda akae na watoto wake peacefully Yeah, she has lost a lot but i believe there is still hope so guys let's come through for more i'll try to dig deep what i'll never ask someone mwenye ame undergo gender based violence ni ulifanya nini ndio ukachapwa that i will never ask a person cuz hata kama mtu amesimama hapo amekutusi amekuita umbo amekuita nini it does nothing justifies wewe kutaka kutoa mtu uhai and these things are happening at our doorstep zina happen karibu na sisi and then the same system that we trust is the same system that will tell you your husband is free and akutibu <laughs> me arono arono that's it for today's episode of tales of wanjiko namba za morin zote ndizo hizo hapo na jina yake na my email iko hapa but hata kabla tufunge show let me call Terry please come here 
Terry is the one who forwarded me this story. She's one of our, she watches our shows. So let's just get to hear from her kidogo. Ndiyo tujue tutasaidia aje. Just come Terry. So Terry, yes. ebu kwanza ji introduce kwa wa Kenya. Um, Hi guys, my name is Terry. Yeah. And I am a PR and media specialist. So mm -hmm. I met Maureen from an interview I did for her a while back in 2018 yeah. when her wounds were still fresh and um, it wasn't an easy time actually for me to, you know, uh, sit down there with her and mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm. But that's how I, I knew Maureen. I have no relation with Maureen. Yes. But with time, Nime Nimeweka Karibu Kama, my own sister. Because personally, I grew up in a very, very abusive uh, family. Mm -hmm. My dad was very violent to my mother, very. And it used to leave her fighting for her life. Mm -hmm. So every time I hear stories of women and girls being violated in yeah. one way or the other, mm -hmm. it, it, it throws me off balance and I will do anything. Yes to you know protect to them. yeah protect them give them a listening ear hug them yeah. show them some love yes and that's what i have been doing for for the last um three years yeah, yeah. since i knew maureen so i come here i live very far mm -hmm. but um yeah, I, I go out of my mm. way for her. Mm. And there are other friends um, who are also supporting her yeah. in so many ways. Like the last one month, Maureen and I have been up and about uh, looking for an eye specialist for her. Because for the last three years mm. since Akatwe, Maureen has been yeah. The right eye actually is mm. fractured. Mm. So the lens is fractured. Yes. So how is the owner Vizuri? She's short sighted actually. Yeah, yeah. And so to katafuta mtu um, akamnunulia miwani. Yeah. Now, after I, we got Maureen the glasses, she was like, oh my God, I can see. Like she can see far because now the, the glasses are helping her. Mm -hmm. Things that she could not see in three years. Yes. That was very, very yeah. inspiring. Yeah. And also, so we are trying also, because her children mm. get scared to see her like this with without an eye. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to find funds also to get her an artificial eye. Okay. Because even her, her self-esteem has never, ever uh, She's come never back. Recovered. Yeah, never. Yeah. And um, it gets to a point she asks me, Hey, Terry, ntai rudi kuwa kabenye nilikuwa? And I tell her, don't worry. Even if you will never go back to how you were before this happened, still know that you are loved and that God really has a purpose for you. Mm -hmm. So every day I encourage her that um, I end to kukua positive with life. Yes. Now, even the issues she has spoken about her child yeah. who, who is, you know, uh, a daughter. bit distant here, yeah. the daughter. Tutajaribu tu vinye tutaeza, tu msaidie pia, ndiyo, you know, yeah. um, the mom needs the love of her children at this point. I can't imagine how that's it for her. Yeah. Yeah. And Having the, the daughter mm, say, Anataka mm, Kuenda Kuishina. Na babake. Na babake. Mm. You are well versed with this story yeah. more than I am. Mm -hmm. So, the justice mm. system, mm. where are we? Uh, okay, like, because I don't, honestly, I don't understand what's mm. going on. I don't understand why mm. the man is free and yeah. walking. Mm. Where else we had witnesses, the DNA from the panga, mm. naizo vitu zote. Yeah. Even a layman knows he should be mm. in jail. So what's happening? Uh, so from my understanding, because ata mimi, by the way, I don't understand. Mm. Um, nimejaribu tu venye, yani, nimejaribu ata ku get connection from uko home kwao, tumongia na watu, kama wanaita tusaidia tupate yo OB number na case file number, yeah? Mm, mm. Lakini, Hakuna. haijapatikana. Yeah. So, sir, the only thing I was planning with her ni tuende hadi uko yugi. Sisi tujipeleke, tunajituma. Mm. 
But then uh, suddenly she got sick. So we were to go to Yugi's venue yeah. um, mm. but her took and mm -hmm. she has been sick. Mm. Until now she's sick. Yeah. So poor, ndio we can be able to travel yes. and go and you know yeah. look for those documents. Let me ask. Yeah. Apart from us, you know, trying to get um, someone to maybe uh, represent her in court, mm. someone to reopen this case and the therapy, mm. what do you think would be the long-term mm. sustainable measure for mm -hmm. Maureen and her kids? What do you think we can do? Um, first things first, oh, her desire was to be able to see. Good. So um, at least now she can be able to see better. Yes, yes. So uh, next thing for her will be to get the artificial eye. Mm -hmm. That might not be an agency now, but what is urgent now is for us to get those documents. Yes. Because Sukisha Zipata then Maureen has her justice served. Yeah. This guy will be arrested and you know do a heart I feel threatened. Because mm -hmm. at this point <coughs> she's not at peace. She she walks frightened because she doesn't know what will happen to her. This guy might talk here, yeah, ama atume watu wengine wakuja wa malize, then what? Yeah. Her children will be left suffering. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very cruel world yeah. when you don't have your mother. Good. It's very cruel. Yeah. So she needs security. Mm -hmm. If there are safe houses out there, I know the government has safe houses. Can they accommodate <coughs> this woman and her children? So they'll be taken care of, they'll be safe. Good. Nobody will bother them there. Mm -hmm. And if they are not um, available for mm -hmm. for her, yeah. then can people come together and give her a long-term solution? Because yeah. Maureen goes to work and I end up with her gear. Look, look at her hand. Look, she With can't even cook. a prosthetic hand work also? A yeah, prosthetic hand can work. It can work. Mm -hmm. It can. Because I had her easy GPK. She can't. But I know it seems very... No, I'm upset and I can't hide it. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Mm. I, I don't know how many women or men mm. we have like Maureen mm. who feel like they don't have a voice in this yeah. country. Yeah. I don't, I honestly, I don't know. So mm. I'm just a bit frustrated, mm. especially the part where the court told the husband and um, Tib, mm. and he goes and marries. Yeah. His life in Aindelia, what about her? It's, it's, it's quite sad. It's quite sad. Our justice system is very, very, very poor, very, mm. very pathetic, I must say. Our justice <coughs> system doesn't care about actually yes. yeah. the less fortunate. Mm. They care about what do you have? Because if this guy had money and he gave out and he was set free, then you can buy your freedom. Yes, so I hope all goes well. Yeah. I know at least us airing her story is the first step. Mm -hmm. And I know some Kenyans would also want to talk to you in regards to Maureen. Mm -hmm. So are you comfortable giving out your phone number and email? Terry.azalia mm -hmm. yeah. at gmail.com. Okay, so say it again. That is Terry.azalia at mm -hmm. gmail.com. Okay. T E W R Y. Yeah. Dot A Z A L I H mm -hmm. at okay. gmail.com. All right. Yeah. So I don't usually do this on this show. And I understand we. Uh, I, uh, I'm running a different campaign on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's Optiven by Optiven mm -hmm. Foundation. We are trying to get someone a place they can call home. Okay. Unfortunately, we mm -hmm. already have the three families wow. that we are choosing from. Mm -hmm. But even if it, this does not happen through Optiven Foundation, I know guys we can come together and give Maureen something to smile about. Mm -hmm. And even if I have to campaign for her and her kids, make sure they have, because I want her to just go into her own place. Okay. You know, her mm -hmm. own space where this is my house. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. even if she can get to operate a small casserious yeah. shop, yeah. Penyata yeah. Chomeka na Jua Sana, because mm -hmm. of the eye, mm -hmm. then let's do this. Oh, yeah. I want you guys to help me make sure that justice is served for Maureen, mm. that we can be able to get her a uh, the artificial eye, eye that we are able to restore her self-esteem and most importantly let's give her a place to call home i know we can do it so my email as i said is right here reach out to me 
uh, namba yake iko hapa and we will even uh, maybe you guys can open a different mchanga um, account mm -hmm. where the people who would want to contribute towards her house yeah. can be able to channel mm -hmm. their support yeah. so i believe by the time we are airing this we'll have an mchanga um, account that's active mm -hmm. where if you guys you want to help me by all means even if this is the last thing i do in this life help me get Maureen a place that she can call home sinisawa yes. yeah uh, it's late for her right now for the Optiven Foundation but I believe uh, we also hapa kama tuko tunaweza mjengea nyu tunaweza mjengea nyumba mm -hmm. that's it for today's episode of Tales of Wanjiko <laughs> it's it's upsetting it's really upsetting but we have to keep bringing you these stories just to make sure that no one else anaweza pitia zile vitu zenye Maureen amepitia my direct and camera person Edu Asante sana and of course to our amazing editor David Moredi for compiling this episode mm -hmm. Asante sana Asante sana yeah that's it bye <laughs>